Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the host directives. We are trying to learn it, right? And now if you try to see here for this component app-widget, we have applied the two directives. If you try to see here, we have applied the two host directives. That is nothing but color directive and also another one is the background color directive. Color directive will try to give the uh, text color and also the border and padding it will try to give. And the background color directive, it will give only the background color that is nothing but a green color. Now if you try to see here, these are the two directives we have applied to the component. So that means wherever you are trying to initialize this component or wherever you want to try to render this component in any component, automatically these two directives will be applied to this component. So that means there is no need to especially mention this color directive and the background color directive with these selectors. So this each one will be having its own selector, right? So there is no need to mention with its selector. Automatically for this component, the directives will be applied. This is the benefit of the host directives and this concept is called as a directive composition API. And this is available in a, from Angular 15 onwards or Angular 16 onwards, I didn't remember exactly. And this is the concept. So previously what we want, what you need to do it is, so you need to mention it in the imports and you need to explicitly add the directive selector to the component. So that means wherever you are trying to use that component means you need to explicitly mention this uh, directives and in that comp parent component you need to mention it in the imports. So this one will be a difficult task for us. So that is the reason. So we in order to apply, apply for the component host element itself then we need to use this one. So fine. So as far as we understood about this directive host composition API. Now if you try to see that uh, color.directive.ts uh, file. And here you will be able to see that the color red and black and the padding the values that has been applied is the static values so if you want to mention the dynamic values so that means wherever you want to try wherever you are trying to use the component so if you want to mention the text color for this one explicitly means how we can do it so this is possible for example let's say that this is our app component.html file and here we are using the ipython widget for example let's say that i want to use i want to use a color yellow yellow color I want to use it to the text so here right now it will not work why because so we are not catching this color uh, attribute and we are not taking this input property so now who is responsible for applying the text color that is nothing but color.directive.ts file so this is the directive file which is you which is responsible for applying the text color so what we will try to do it is so here we will give an input variable so this should be imported from the angular core and the variable is nothing but color and you can mention it here the default color as red so this is the input which i have mentioned it and now i can use this this dot color here automatically so we can use this one this is not a problem now if you try to see here let's try to see whether we can able to see the yellow color or not if you try to see here still the yellow color is not getting applied so now what we need to do it is in our widget.component.ts file so why because we are using for the widget.component.ts widget right so whenever we are using for the widget.component.ts file for this is the color directive which will take the color as an input thing so here in the host directives you need to specifically or especially mention what are the input variables that it is holding so that means so for whatever the component for whatever the input data we are getting it for the component it will be passed to the directive so that means here you need to mention it as an object and the variable is nothing but the directive is nothing but the directive you can add it as a directive that is nothing but a color directive okay and here we will be having a special variable that is inputs and what is the inputs we are trying to send it the color that's it so now if you try to mention this color automatically the text color has been changed to yellow color so this is how you can mention you can send how many input variables you want you can send it for example if i want to send this color input variable to the background color directive also then you need to mention it like this <coughs> not only the input uh, property we can also bind the event emitters also for example let's say that the color directive is there and here i want to send an input event uh, output so that means whenever the color has been changed i need to tell i need to send a message that the color has been changed so here i can write in such a way that input output sorry output color changed is equal to new event emitter okay so i want to send this one so on ng on init what i will try to do it is i will use a set timeout okay and here when the color has been changed for this one so for example after 
to th- after 1000 seconds so after every time af- i will use the set interval set interval so for every 1 second it will send you the event so this dot color changed dot emit so when this one is emitting the event is emitting then we need to capture the event and we need to execute some particular action in the component so that means here in our app component so here we can capture it that is nothing but color changed so here you will be able to see it. do something so you can use something method do something and this method is not and this method is you need to implement it so do something oh sorry so now if you try to capture this method and if you use it in our app component.ts file just i will try to use this method okay. console.log event event fight that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so let's go to the console and let's see that whether we can able to see that event is firing or not if you try to see here still the event is not firing why because as i already told you right in our widget.component.js how i have mentioned as an input thing we, we should also mention the output so here i can mention the outputs and what is the outputs we are having that is nothing but color changed so this is the method which we need to mention it now if you try to mention it here now we will be able to see the event fired event fired for every second you will be able to see that event is getting fired so in this way we can mention the uh, input and output properties for a particular directive also this host directives will take the care of this one so now here whatever the value you want to execute it so for this one it will be executed so now you need to understand the logic for this one so there is no need to mention the app color okay so like this there is no need to mention the directive automatically you can mention it this one and the input properties whatever you want to send it you can send it and also the event emitter also so when it is trying to send an event or anything you can do particular thing so this is how this is what about the directive composition api and not only for this one so background color also you can use it and here we can also use the alias name also for example here if you want to use the um, uh, let's say that text color okay if you want to use this alias name is so you can use this alias name not a problem so for this now here red color, yellow color is coming right so here instead of this one you can use the text color also not a problem now you will be able to see that yellow color has been applied so if you are having an alias name also you can mention the alias name here in our widget.component.ts that text color will be added and you need to take it as a color thing so like this you can also use for this one also the alias name also for the output also you can use. so here also you can mention this alias name so now whenever this alias name if you want to use it means so here we need to use the change color this one so then also you will be able to see the output so this is how actually the host directives concept that are now what i want to tell you is so event is also firing here the directive composition api or the input variable inputs and outputs this is how it is working so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you